With the Winter 23 release of Salesforce, you can now clone your custom applications. This section called Clone Apps Beta is found inside of the Lightning Experience App Manager. You can always just search for App Manager inside of the setup search bar here. And this will take you to the App Manager. And then here is where you can toggle this on to enable app cloning. And then the screen refreshes and then you can locate the app that you're wishing to clone from the list here. Now, one note is that these standard applications such as the service application is not clonable. So for any of your standard applications, whenever you click the edit button, it'll only show edit. But if you have any custom applications in your org, then you'll notice a difference here. Whenever we click the button, you'll see the ability to not only edit, but also to delete and now clone this application. Since this is a custom application in my own instance here, so I'm going to click to clone this. You have much the same experience with the five different steps here as you would in creating a new application. And then it's just a matter of putting in the app name. I've already got inventory management in my org, so I'm going to call this 2.0. And be sure that I don't have any spaces in my developer name. I'll click next just to go through here, just to be sure there's no further surprises. So as a quick review, I'm just going through the different steps here, such as app options, utility items, navigation items, and then the profile settings, selecting which profiles I want this cloned Lightning application to be available for, and then click Save and Finish. And so now my list of applications, I have my original inventory management as well as inventory management 2.0. Now the preceding source application was a Lightning application. You can also clone to create from classic to lightning if it's a custom application and just be mindful that this will not be available if it is a standard application and therefore you'll only see edit from the drop down when you're dealing with a custom application you can indeed clone and then as well you can always toggle this back off if you want to revert back to app cloning not being enabled in your org